good to go, fam. Little Mac <laughs> versus Cloud. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I feel like his mustache is giving him an untapped power. Dude, imagine when he shaves that thing. I feel like that contains his power. So basically what you're saying is if Ryan shaves his stash, he sucks at Smash. No, 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 no. He used to have like mustache and like like other facial hair. But the then he shaved off the other facial hair. That let out some of his power, dude. It's like an inhibitor. Like, he's just like... Are you sure? Because he's playing a lot better than when he had that full thing going. I know. That's because he took out, took off, like, all of the, like, the side stuff. He still has a little bit kept in with the mustache. No. The, his power is saturated in his mustache. His no, beard. then he would have been, then he would have no, been good no, no, before. No. But the rest of his facial hair was blocking him from tapping his mustache power. It was a barrier, Mason. A barrier, I tell you. It was nah, a wall. I think, I think Babyface Greed is the It future. was a ball. It was a wall, dude. And he made the Smash community pay for it. Oh my god. And there's the KO punch. Greed losing the first stock of the set. Losers. Semi. Best of five. Greed Semi. I think the day we see fully shaven Greed. It's the day that the Smash scene implodes. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I hope not. Oh, on limit. Fully charged. Four greed on that cloud. Trying to play the offstage. Sand and keep going back. But there it is. And that surely confirms the stock. Back to even, basically. Mason. What's Twitch chat telling us? Oh. Yes. Limit charge. <coughs> so how's that? How's that man gonna play this one out? Oh, an He's off dead, stage. I think. He's oh no, he had his jump still. I thought he got his ju jump caught by that cross slash. If he had more percent. Oh, there's the down smash. Yeah. How, how, here's the question. How is Groove going to play this one out? How can he come back from this deficit? Because we all know Little Max power. Camp on the top platform until he gets limit. Cross on. Well, there's the limit. That's part one of two. Or three. He needs to camp that top platform. But he also needs to get that cross slash. He needs to find that opening before something like that happens again. And he has to burn his limit. For the recovery. All right, now camp on top platform again. Nah, he got it. Again. Up special. Confirming the game for Sandman. Up 1-0. Both of the kills that game for Sandman were... Both the kills were confirmed off of jabs. And Little Max yeah. jab is frame one. Frame one. Frame one. That's annoying. That is annoying. That is very annoying. Survival. I would agree with you, but I feel like you're like implying something about my character. Potentially. Survival. Oh, yeah. <coughs> but no, Sandman going to the cloud. Cloud ditto on Duck Hunt. Game two. Three, two, one, go! And of course, the gentleman's agreement the limit charge at the beginning of the match in the cloud here. Sandman taking an early lead. I don't know how experienced Greed is in the cloud here. Well, to be fair, Greed is very experienced in the Charizard. This can't be too different, can it? It can be. It can be. You don't say. No, but I'm pretty confident that Greed knows this matchup <coughs> fairly decently and maybe a little bit more than Sandman does. But right now the percentages tell a different story, but Greed, he knows how to pull it out clutch. He also has this limit and Sandman doesn't, yeah. which is a very important factor in this matchup. Up B from there would kill with limit. For sure. It goes for the back throw option. He's staying in Sandman's face, not allowing him to charge limit. Yeah. 
Oh, and waste it. Now Sandman has limit. It's off stage. Ooh. Does burn it just to get back to stage safely. Yeah. And get a little bit more percent on so yeah, Very even matchup. It's Sandman getting first blood. But three gets the return kill. Last stock, 0%. Sandman up 1 0, needs two more to move on. On the losing side of the bracket. Agreed. Needs to pull something out of his pocket here if he wants to stay in the competition of the losing bracket. Has to burn his limit for recovery. And that does not bode well. Yeah. That's one thing that Greed loves to go for. Is he loves to go for those like those up B spikes at like really low percents. Because it does kill extremely early, but it's like not even that it's risky, it's just like low low probability of working. But you know, the one time it does work, it's pretty lit. Ah, uh, I don't know if lit is the word I used to describe it, but it works. You know, it's always lit for Ryan Ricardo. Oh god. But on that note, Ricardo, 133% goes for the off stage conversion <laughs> of off credit. And now he's just working with his rage. Let's be careful with that up air coming down. Uh, I see what he was trying to do there. He was trying to get to the, the wall and then immediately wall jump. Yeah, uh, wall jump into the up air recovery. I think he could have just um, up beat and lived. Yeah. Um, I like the thought. Sandman, 2 0. Alright, so. Greed counterpicking to Lilac. And is he gonna is he gonna switch over to his tune link? I think that's what he's thinking about right now. Is he switching over to his tune? Uh yes. I agree with this. You agree with it, but you don't like it. I definitely don't like it, but I agree with it. Three, two, it's a world one, of difference. Go! Of course. There we go. Let's see what he can do. Lilac, Toon Link for Greed, Cloud for Sandman. <laughs> do or die for Greed this game. But nonetheless, very good performance, uh, especially considering his recent performances. I think this is some of the best Smash 4 he's played. Yeah, I can, I can see that. The competition today isn't like quite as fierce as it sometimes is. Um, but that being said, he has, he has done very well for himself today. Yeah. Beating people he thought he was used to. Exactly. Actually, I think, actually, if I'm if I'm remembering right, he's playing to his seed. I think he was seeded fourth, so he's expected to get fourth today. Um, so if he plays to his seed, I'm sure he won't be disappointed himself. Um, but still, just like little great moments you see in this play that you don't normally see from. Him. So this is about even. Um, Sandman's being pretty careful about these projectiles. He's playing a very shield-heavy game. Oh, catches that bomb. But don't play with firearms, kids. Hey, <laughs> See, of do you remember me talking about how people di out on the fair or di out on the bomb yeah. to try and avoid the the fair, and then they just die to the fair anyway? This is definitely what just happened there. Right. right now, he, what I believe he's looking to do is actually just use his rage to his advantage. And that was smart. Yeah, he does something unsafe knowing that the boomerang is going to come back and save him, even if he does like, get punished for it. Oh, I'm going to fully charge the cloud. But is that going to help him? <laughs> is that limit going to help him? No, he burns it. Oh my bomb gosh, boomerang, bomb, fair. Sandman looking a little bit visibly frustrated at, um, at some of these confirms. I would be too. If you're always fair. frustrated when there's a tomb lane. That's true. Too. Oh, bomb conversion. His bomb conversions have been very solid so far. Up air killing. Yeah. 
So up air, taking away Kingwin's first stock of the match, but Cloud is at kill percent. Ah, uh, yes. Bomb, bomb on Smash, bomb forward air. And that's a great thing with Tuba. If he lands, he gets the bomb. Oh, he gets the last hit. He was going for a, for a stage spike there. Uh, didn't quite connect. Oh, Good landing catch there. And Greed, bring himself back in it. What's oh, oh, you're a vet? Bloody Canadian was worth Alright, so actually playing above his seed then. Yeah. So overall, good performance. And his bomb conversion up is very solid. Yes. Uh, I, I, he's missed very a very minimal amount of conversions that many players wouldn't normally get. Yeah. That being said, it's not like the bomb conversions are like extremely difficult. Um, there was actually a clip on Reddit earlier of a blind kid playing Smash. Um, and he lost game one with Corrin, I do believe. And game two, he picked Toon Link. Um, and he was doing bomb confirms with Toon Link. He literally nice. can't see. But going into game number four, Zaman going back to his little map. And off to F we go. So, how does this match up fare for Sandman having the counter pick? Um, I don't think this matchup is all that bad for Toon Link. Um, Green says he doesn't, like, really doesn't like it, though. Um, so it could be just difference in opinions. Um, all of these projectiles are gonna stop Little Max KO Punch. Um, but Little Mac has good rolls and stuff to get through. Projectiles, good, good shield game. <coughs> He's not gonna get much off the bombs, though, so catching them like he did there is probably... Not the best decision. One thing is, Tulik has like a pretty like slow grab. I don't know if he'd even really be able to catch Little Mac with like shield grabs um, off of Little Mac's down tilts or forward tilts. Provided Sandman doesn't use this thing. Yes, that's true. There we go. There down smash there. catching the, the two frame on ledge. A down smash reaches really far below ledge. No, of course. Reed, going for that grab. But right now, we're thinking that's not really the best option for him to go for. Right now, I, he should be looking for just this, playing the projectile game. And up smash almost stealing off Sandman stock. Fourth throw gets, the gets him off stage. I was very close Z drop on the, on the bomb. Almost stage spiked him. Back throw, yep, I'll take it. 100%. <coughs> Alright, so now, Back Sandman's there. definitely at a sizable advantage, but Lomac can die at like. But he has no jump. Oh, oh wow. and gets the last in. He's able to get back on stage. Oh, and there's the Uppy. Greed just playing by the ledge, because he knows that one of his only ways to win this game at this point um, is just to get Little Mac off stage. Has a really good tether recovery to mix up his yeah, timing. Very good down recovery. Smash. Here he goes, back to his ledge. Getting his boomerang, getting his bomb, getting his arrow. The problem with this is if he's sitting by the edge like that and Sandman just runs in and dash attacks, uh, it will kill Toon like near the edge like that. Uh, so he's going to have to be really, really safe, really, really cautious. He is building up a decent amount of percent here. Oh, hits himself oh. with his own bomb. That Ow, casting. Yeah, that actually might spell game. Gets oh, back to stage safely. But, wow, jab's actually killing. Yeah, jab kills. Sandman taking this at 3 <laughs> to 2 1 over BBC 3.